Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the PCL draw test, which stands for the posterior cruciate ligament draw test. As you can probably tell, the purpose of this test is to investigate the posterior cruciate ligament of the knee joint. In particular, we're looking to see if our patient has a PCL tear. Just to mention about how we, before we actually do the test, is we're not going to complete the test on both our patient's right and left legs in this video today. And that's because we don't want to slow your video down. So you're only going to see us performing the test on our patient's right leg. But of course, in practice, we always want you to compare the two. So let's go into the test. We're going to bend our patient's knee to approximately 90 degrees of flexion. We're then going to gently sit on our patient's foot of the leg that we're testing. We're going to have both of our hands in a C shape, like so, resting on the proximal tibia of the testing leg. My thumbs are going to be resting just above the tibial tuberosity, so you can feel what's happening at the joint line. And my fingers are just gently relaxing uh, against the calf. We're not going to be gripping with our hands because that might cause unnecessary pain. So from here, we're going to use our hands and gently provide a posterior translation of the tibia on the femur. So we're just going to go ahead and push down like so. Now it's useful to do this test quite slowly and that's because it means you can really feel for what's going on at the knee joint during the test. And that's how we do it. So a positive result in this test would be where we find excessive movement of the tibia posteriorly on one leg relative to the other. Um, sometimes we describe a soft or mushy end feel because the PCL is not in its taut position because it's torn. Therefore, we don't get a hard end feel. We get that soft and mushy end feel instead. So what do we find in clinical practice? Well, to be honest with you, a PCL tear is quite rare in the adult population and in the um, younger population as well. Um, for example, it's much more common to tear the ACL, the anterior cruciate ligament. Um, if you do have a PCL tear, then signs to look out for on your subjective testing um, would be um, situations where you might suspect that posterior movement of the tibia relative to the femur. For example, a really common one, if patients do have a PCL tear, is when they've been standing, let's say, at a zebra crossing, and they've been impacted from the front by a car. So it means that they've been standing like so, and the car's hit into the tibia, which has forced it posteriorly relative to the femur. <laughs> 